During the height of the COVID pandemic, as millions of people were hospitalized with doctors and nurses worked to the bone, medical professionals observed something strange, specifically in a handful of patients with cancer. When those patients got severe COVID, the cancers shrank. So it was a very bizarre uh, you know, observation, which we were really uh, wondering if it's just a coincidence or is it a real thing? Now Northwestern Medicine Chief of Thoracic Surgery, Dr. Ankit Parat, says new research on human tissue and animal models shows what may be a silver lining out of a bleak era that could benefit cancer patients. In our preclinical studies, it tends to be broadly effective in some of the most common cancers that affect us. So lung, breast, colon, melanomas. Researchers were able to create the same cells found in some patients with severe COVID to not protect cancers, but rather bring reinforcements to attack them. When they said we were out of options, one year later on to the day, he got the call for the transplant. Keith Zafrin and Lori Friesen have been on a cancer journey together. Keith, one of the first lung cancer patients to receive a double lung transplant of Northwestern Medicine in a first of its kind clinical program. If his cancer were to ever reoccur, traditional immunotherapies wouldn't be an option because of the risk of organ rejection. I would happily be in that new study if cancer occurs. This COVID based research is different than immunotherapy. In this mechanism of these monocytes, they can selectively kill the cancer cells without affecting the, uh, the newly transplanted lungs. Just hold on because you never know what these innovative, incredible team of doctors are going to come up with next. Researchers hope to have these in clinical trials with humans next year. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.